Hi, Otters here, and this is how to do a 12 mark essay on Unit 1, the final paper, GCSE History. And this time, we're doing about the outbreak of the Second World War. Here is a typical sort of question that you would get on this paper. Indeed, this is from a past paper, so it's exactly the sort of question you would get. What we're going to do now is have a little look at this sort of question and see how we might tackle it. The first thing that you should note is that you really need to know your chronology for this sort of question. For example, if you started to talk about Anschluss during your answer, well it would probably be irrelevant because that was before Hitler's takeover of Czechoslovakia, not afterwards. So you would lose marks, but perhaps more importantly, it would be a complete waste of your time. And the next point to consider is that you need to have three points to your answer split into three paragraphs. Because the Edexcel mark scheme says that you need to have three developed arguments to get eight to nine marks. The key word in this question is why. You cannot hope to revise and revise and revise and just then be able to regurgitate that information in order to answer the question. Nowhere in the Edexcel textbook will it, will it tell you why international tension increased. You have to read that information, you have to think about it, and you have to think why, and come up with three separate points. It's not easy. And the fourth point is for those of you who are aiming for an A or an A star. At the very top of the mark scheme, it says those of you who want to get 11 to 12 marks must link and prioritise factors. So you need to make some links between the three points you've got in your three separate paragraphs. And ideally, to prioritise, you would have a conclusion at the end, which says which of the three points mentioned you think overall would be the most important. However, if you're a bit short for time, what you could decide to do instead is you could just include that in one of your paragraphs, perhaps in the last paragraph. So you could say in the first paragraph how a certain thing uh, was a reason for international tension increasing. In the next paragraph, another reason. And then finally, in the third paragraph, you could say, however, the most important reason is. If you're using this video to help you revise, what I would suggest now is taking some time to think about what would your three points be? What points would you have at the start of each of your three main paragraphs? Then you can compare it with mine if you pause the video. The first reason that I would give as to why international tension increased in Europe from Hitler's takeover of Czechoslovakia to his invasion of Poland would be that after the Czechoslovakian invasion Hitler had been exposed as untrustworthy. Before the invasion of Czechoslovakia Neville Chamberlain in particular had reasoned with Hitler under the assumption that he was a normal man and he was somebody who could be dealt with as a normal man. As we now know in retrospect, he is not, or was not, a normal man. He was a ruthless dictator, willing to do anything in his means to get what he wanted. But significantly, tension increased because Britain realised it could only do one thing with Hitler, and that was to be firm with him. So Britain's at rearmament accelerated, and tension increased. I believe that my second point can quite easily be linked to my first because I would perhaps start my sentence with another reason why international tension increased was because Britain and France signed an agreement to guarantee Polish independence. This is a direct result of the fact that Hitler had been exposed as untrustworthy. Neville Chamberlain now saw that he needed to take action to try to stop Hitler from expanding Germany further and acting aggressively. So. Britain and France signed an agreement to guarantee Polish independence. Unfortunately, Hitler's next objective in Europe was quite clear. Um, as a result of the Polish corridor, Germany were likely to try to attack Poland, or at least gain concessions and land from Poland. The fact that Britain and France signed this agreement to guarantee Polish independence, at the same time as Poland being Hitler's next objective, would inevitably mean that tension across Europe would increase dramatically. Thus I've got a separate point, a new point, but it's really linked to my first point. 
My third point would be another reason why international inc tension increased in Europe was because of the Nazi-Soviet pact. And again, I believe I can link this to my previous points. I would say something along the lines of, as a result of the British and French guarantee to Poland, Hitler turned to Stalin and signed an alliance in the Nazi-Soviet pact, which is convenient for both parties. Had Britain and France not signed an agreement, perhaps the Nazi-Soviet pact might not have happened. But Hitler wanted to avoid fighting a war on two fronts, as had happened to Germany in the First World War. So they signed the Nazi-Soviet pact, dramatically increasing the tension in Europe, because nobody expected it. And it pushed Stalin into the camp of Hitler, um, when Britain and France could really have done with the Soviet Union as an ally, rather than as an enemy. As for my conclusion, it doesn't really matter what I would think. You can decide for yourself which of these three you think is the most important reason. You could argue any of them. But the thing to note is that I've got a conclusion which says which is the most important factor. Having linked my different points, this should, if I've done it properly, mean that I get at least 10 or 11 marks out of 12 and hopefully a full 12 out of 12.